in a bid to give our great viewers up to date and timely information we visited the uh, Ugwaba Obosi Axis that is um, Awada Axis of Obosi not far from uh, Mbuka Obosi where uh, road constructions are going on there at least uh, I was able to count uh, about three road constructions going on there but um, well from what I am saying they need to continue with the job and uh, speed up with the construction well uh, it's still that same company NBLH whatever that uh, Soludo displaced from Oboko you know uh, I saw that it is them that is doing this job but them um, well, let me not presume because this is just the first day we are coming. So if you us to approach this road, I'm talking about this is coming down from uh, Eziweka Road as if you are going to Opiweka. Then you divert left. No, you divert left uh, going towards Nepal Road. They call that place Nepal Road where Nepal has their own substation. There is one substation there at uh, Obosi there. So that's where we are following now. From there, just at the tip of that Nepal substation, that's where the road started. It's not far from here. Then uh, we now see the road and see how far they have done the road. Well, shortly we are going to be in front of uh, the Nepal substation. You can see signs of uh, Nepal equipment around here. It's very unusual. So now you can see the substation there. Look at it. Now we are taking our right. You can see the substation. Then we are taking right. This is the road and uh, it is under construction well this is the first time we are visiting here just like i said earlier in the introductory part of this video we are here to see for ourselves what is happening here and how far the job is going so um, uh, invariably this road should lead direct inside Mbuka Obusi and uh, well we will yet to see the road properly and uh, its adjoining parts that are under construction so here is a covert that is going on they are preparing the covert to ensure you know a connectivity of the uh, drainage system So when we are done from here, we will continue from the left side. So but uh, from the look of things, um, we need to go and follow the other side to ensure that uh, we have a smooth movement on this uh, road. This place is totally cut off. There is no way we can ply over here. So now we have uh, turned, we have turned to the other side and uh, adjoined the road. Yeah, this is where the covert is going on and uh, this is the road we are following now down to Mbuka. This one leads to Mbuka and the Mbuka is not even far from here. Just some few movements here you get to Mbuka. Well, uh, it's always good to have road cabs, you know, on the road where there are no drainages. 
But I wonder why we cannot have two drainages at both sides of uh, every road here. I don't know why we can't do that in a city like this. Well, uh, the governor is, uh, you know, trying his best and uh, he has improved you know, most of the roads that we have in the state. Though we know that uh, many are not uh, at home with, um, you know, the type of uh, job done so far. But um, virtually and, uh, you know, uh, most importantly, there is quite a lot of improvement from what we used to have, you know, based on the road constructions that are going on in a number of states. So this is the contract details of the place reconstruction of Uwaba uh, Obosi Awada Road in Idemri, not local government of Anambra State, client government of Anambra State of Nigeria, supervising ministry, Minister of Works and uh, Infrastructure. So, so, so then um, this one now we are going to follow it down, it leads straight inside the Mbuka, Mbuka Obosi. Where they sell second parts, second hand parts of uh, vehicles. Yes, uh, if you have not subscribed to Younger Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video, and please don't forget to share this video and uh, drop your own comment. Yes, we've decided to move down and see where the road ends, but uh, you can see where the construction ends for now. Probably they are going to move further. We are yet to be sure. So I decided to zoom this uh, UBA branch that is here so that you confirm the location we are. That is that UBA that is there and we have turned back. We want to enter one of the adjoining roads from this one. So we have entered one. This is Amesi Street. This is Amesi Street off that uh, Mbuka Ogosi Road. So this road now connects Owere Road. This road connects to Owere Road. So if you watch this video now, if you watch the landscape of this place, you will notice that thing I used to talk about whenever I cover on each Owere Road. This area is where the whole water that is coming from Umbuka, from Obosi, Awada, it goes down direct to where a road you can see the sloping nature of it so that's why i've been saying it that the way a road needs a good contractor that will collect all the waters that are coming down from uh, up obosi awada axis you know channel it proper and uh, another another thing that is causing that damage is that most part of these obosi roads are not tarred yeah, they are not tired. That is the major problem. I don't know what is going on in our state sometimes, honestly. It even baffles me. Uh, people will come to government and go, come to government and go. And ordinary road construction, they cannot establish it. Yet they amass wealth and leave the state. Well, well, uh, we have our various ways of life and so be it anyhow you choose to do but let there be checks and balances to what you know our politicians do you see like i was saying before i lose my point the point is that most of these roads from that uh, obosi awada exist are not that so flood when flood comes when rain falls it carries a lot of sands a lot of sands, a lot of debris, and went and dumped it on a way road. So even if that way road is built with iron metal, that road, so far water and debris are on it, it will get bad. 
sooner than expected. That is the simple solution about it. So, to get over the road in good shape, to ensure its uh, functionality, the roads on uh, Awada, Obose axis, all of the roads should be tarred so that water can flow freely and when they enter the drainages of a water road, they can now move freely and drain into another place that will collect it inside or into River Niger. Well, we've just busted out at Owere Road. You can see the connectivity of what I've been saying. This is the Amanato axis of uh, Owere Road. You can see across there you enter Oboko. So now we busted at Owere Road. We'll move down a bit and we are going to reconnect another road that is under construction here. Though the contract mentioned Uguaba Obosi, you know, all are Uguaba axis. Mbukatu is under Uguaba Obosi. So to get this place done, all the, you can see the same signboard is here and the same thing is written on it. <coughs> so we've now entered another road moving towards and where we are coming from this one also is under construction so that is the, the that is what i'm saying you know the whole of this connecting road from away road up to obosi ugwaba awada axis has to be well tarred and the drainages well constructed so that uh, the problem of uh, water road can be arrested and uh, prosecuted in total. So the problem will be solved, you know, um, uh, a larger extent it will be solved. So that uh, flood will not be carrying debris, sand to go and block up the whole of uh, Owere road, causing much damage on that road. So viewers, uh, very soon we are going to bust out at uh, the roads that uh, lead to Buka, the one we just passed through and came out from the other side. You can see where we came out, the same area. Well, um, um, the governor of Alhambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, is not doing badly, you know, trying to get all these places started. Well, I say kudos to him. And uh, let the job continue. The whole of this Obosi, you know, it has to look like a, a place where human beings are living. People will build mansions, six story buildings, five story buildings, tall, tall buildings, but there is no road. Yeah, it is, it beats my imagination. So, whatever means that the government think it is wise to do this, please let them do it. So, People can live like human beings and the environment too will be nice and uh, you know investors can be attracted in peace. Well, if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video and don't forget to share this video or that's need to watch too. 
Thank you. Well, uh, let me leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. I am still Chinedu, your presenter. Until I come your way next time, bye for now. Enjoy the rest of the video.